Congratulations on choosing SnapCorrect, the clearest and fastest way to your perfect smile. In this video, we are going to show you how to make great impressions for your SnapCorrect aligners. Before starting your impressions, please watch this entire video and read the entire impression guide that comes in your impression kit. We need great impressions to help our dedicated dental experts accurately produce customized SnapCorrect aligners tailored to your smile. Please be patient and follow the instructions very carefully to ensure you create the best impressions possible. Your impression kit comes complete with four impression trays, four sets of putty, two sets of gloves, a smile stretcher, your impression guide, a sealable bag, a sample tray, and your return label already at the bottom of your box. You will also need a digital timer like the one found on your phone, a ruler, and a clean towel. Before you start, Refrigerate all four sets of putty for a minimum of 30 minutes. Chilling the putty will extend the window of time before the putty sets permanently, allowing for more mixing time and more time to properly place the mixed putty in the tray. While the putty chills, take this time to get ready. Make sure to brush and floss your teeth. Wash your hands with soap and water, then dry them thoroughly. Carefully choose the tightest fitting gloves provided in the impression kit and put them on. Now, practice placing an empty tray in your mouth. The number two tray is for the top and the number four is for the bottom. The tray might seem like it's too wide, but this is the size most people need to get a good dental impression. To get the tray into your mouth, just insert one side as shown while pulling your cheek at the corners of your mouth with your thumb and index finger of your other hand. You can then insert the rest of the tray. Practice doing this a few times. Make sure your teeth all fit inside the tray without touching the sides and that you are able to push your teeth to touch the bottom of the tray. If your teeth touch the sides or you are not able to get your teeth to hit the bottom of the tray, you may need a different sized tray. Stop and call our customer service experts who will help you. If your trays fit, choose a clean, brightly lit area to make your impressions. Then after 30 minutes is up, remove one blue and one white putty from the refrigerator. Next, remove the putty from the containers. You will have 90 seconds to prepare the impression tray once you start mixing the putty. The tray should be in your mouth by the end of the 90 seconds prep time. Mix the blue and white putties together for a full 60 seconds. Mix rapidly until the putties become one solid color. Roll the mixed putty between your hands to create an even looking 4 inch log. This shouldn't take more than a few seconds to roll. You can use the ruler to make sure you have the right length. Next, you will quickly and carefully place the putty log into the tray. Be sure to press it into the tray. Make sure the putty touches the upper front edge of the tray and reaches all the way to the back. Use the sample tray provided in your impression kit as a guide. Here is an example of good putty placement. See how it reached all the way to the top front of the tray. This putty has been placed into the tray incorrectly. It does not reach all the way to the top front of the tray. Once you have properly put the putty in place, start your timer. Note that for this next step, it's best to have the help of a friend or make sure you use a mirror. Now, open your mouth widely and insert the tray. Do this by taking the tray with both hands. With your thumbs under the tray, center the tray below your upper teeth. Make sure you have some space at the front of the tray, about a fourth of an inch, Otherwise, your front teeth might get too close to the front wall of the tray. It's best to have a friend help you or use a mirror. Using one even motion, press up evenly and firmly until you feel the putty covering the gum line. Press deeper than you think is necessary. Don't be afraid to hit the bottom of the tray. Do not move the tray in any way or you will get drag marks which make the impressions unusable. Use your thumbs to hold it steadily in place for at least three and a half minutes. 
When the three and a half minutes are up, use your fingers from both hands to gently pull the tray down until you hear a little popping sound of air entering the tray. Continue to pull straight down until the tray is all the way off your back teeth. Then carefully remove the tray from your mouth. At this time, you can inspect your impression and check it against the following sample images to see how you did. The three most important qualities of a good impression are The impression captures all your teeth including at least half of your last molars. The gum line is very well defined. To achieve this, you need to press your teeth deep enough into the putty so that it can go up around your gums. Remember to go deeper than you think you need to. Your front teeth are centered in the putty. This allows for optimal gum line impression and prevents the teeth from scraping against the front of the tray. Let's look at some common mistakes. Here, the putty didn't reach all the way to the back of the tray, resulting in the last molars not being properly captured. In this impression, the teeth were not completely captured as they were not pressed deep enough into the putty. This example is missing a solid gum line because the teeth were not pressed deep enough to be enveloped by the putty. In this attempt, the front teeth were placed too close to the front of the tray, resulting in the teeth scraping to the plastic. Once you've taken your first impression, it's a good idea to stop and email a photo of your results to your customer smile experts who can give you some constructive feedback. Next, you will repeat the putty and impression process to make the second impression of your upper teeth. After completing two impressions of your upper teeth, it's time to do your lower teeth. Use your index fingers and middle fingers to push the tray down onto your teeth. To get the best impression, push down firmly and evenly onto your teeth, including all of your back teeth. Now you can inspect your new impression and check it against our sample images to see how you can improve for your final try. Next, you will repeat the putty and impression process to make a second impression of your lower teeth. Now that you have four finished impressions, rinse all four in cold water and let them air dry. Place the four dried impressions into the sealable bag provided in your Snap Correct Impression Kit. Please do not attempt to remove your impressions from the tray, as this will make your impressions unusable. Be sure to properly seal the plastic bag. Next, place the bag in the impression kit box. Seal the box using the blue sticker provided in the impression kit. The kit comes with a prepaid USPS shipping label on the bottom of the box. Just drop it off in the mail. If you run into any problems using the Snap Correct Impression Kit, simply reach out to our Snap Correct Smile experts and we will be happy to help you troubleshoot. You will also need to digitally submit five bright, super clear photos of your teeth to help our dedicated dental experts accurately produce customized Snap Correct aligners tailored to your smile. Check out our Smile Selfie instruction video for help with your dental photo process. Having your perfect smile couldn't get any easier with SnapCorrect Truly Invisible Aligners.